Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Hope you're all doing great. And welcome to this uh, new update on Bitcoin. Uh, again, super bullish. All right. I've, I've always said that I am, um, and yesterday too, um, usually I'm wrong when I say that I think a pullback is coming. Or at least I've, I've said that twice. I, I said it on Wednesday. Um, no, no, I said that once. I said it on Wednesday. All right. So then we got a pullback. I just expected more of a pullback on Monday too. Uh, but overall, the market right now, I mean, it's, it's just been so bullish. Um, it almost makes me doubt if we are really at the start of a bull market, uh, because right now, I mean, the, the truth is, is that the, the volume is actually quite high, right? So last week <clears throat> on Friday, we actually had quite a lot of bullish momentum as well, but then the volume was very low. So then it's, it's easy to pump up the price. Like the volume was around $14 billion and the price was pumped. But right now, um, the volume has always stayed around $19 billion, which is quite a lot. And uh, Bitcoin is still bullish. I mean, the, the, the fundamentals are just super strong. Uh, obviously, we have the ETF approval date coming up somewhere at the start of, of uh, January. We're seeing quite a lot of bullish momentum ahead of that. But in general, um, the thing is, is that this is the end of the month. All right. Or the start of a new month, too. So usually that is quite a volatile day. So what could still happen today? I mean, right now, like I said, we are looking very bullish and fundamentally Bitcoin is bullish. And this move does not seem to be a, a, a fake move. All right. So far, at least it could still turn into one. Um, but it is a, a, a volatile day. It's, it's a risky day. So in my eyes, the, the main level uh, that we need to look at is 38,400, which has been kind of the, the wick resistance for the last uh, for the last week or so. That's the main level to break. And, and right now, I mean, it, it all depends on this four hour, uh, four, four hour time frame close. But in the end, I mean, right now, it, it just looks super bullish. <laughs> There's like uh, later today, we also like we have some news, right? Uh, but but news from the US hasn't affected the markets in, in the past few weeks. So even the, the speech by Jerome Powell, I don't think that's going to matter. It's not even a huge, uh, huge Federal Reserve speech. It's a speech at some sort of a college. So uh, it, it shows here as high impact, but I doubt it will be. So overall, um, today, we'll just have to look at the technicals. All right. So if you look at the technicals right now, like I said, 38,400, that's the main level to look at. Apart from that, you see that right now, Bitcoin is actually building up a ton of open interest. All right. This, this is pretty crazy. All right. The open interest has gone up from about 11.75 up to 12.96. Such an increase. I mean, you can also see it on the chart. You, you barely see. So Bitcoin is showing a lot of momentum. But now the big question is also keeping in mind that right now Bitcoin is at a, at, at a huge liquidity pocket. And if you take a look at these liquidity pockets, usually uh, Bitcoin spikes up there and then drops down. Um, but then again, I mean, you, you see new liquidity arising at 39,000. So, so I have to tell you, uh, even though that's going against my intuition a little bit. Um, but I have to tell you that that it, it is mo most likely that Bitcoin will get up here, all right? Get up towards 39,000. And then the big question is, is, is can it get to 40,000? And that depends on if it holds 38,400. Because like I said, I mean, purely technically, I have to tell you that it's most likely, given the, given the momentum that we're seeing right now in, in combination with all the other factors, I have to tell you that I think it's most likely that Bitcoin will get up towards 39,000, find support at 38,400 and get up towards 40,000 and perhaps even higher. I mean, th there's basically resistance everywhere between 39,200 and uh, 41,000. So that's the entire uh, price target. But that's something we'll see today with this next four hour candle close. We will see whether this is a, a real move or a fake move. And that all depends on if Bitcoin is able to hold 38,400 or not. If it's not able to hold that level, so if it breaks above that, but then instantly drops down again, it's a fake out and we'll see bearish momentum. All right, at least down to 37,200, uh, 37, but potentially way lower. Uh, so in general, just be careful. It's going to be volatile, looks very strong right now, but, uh, but, but it could turn around uh, pretty quickly. All right, so those are my thoughts. Uh, if you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments and down in the pinned comment in the description, you will also find some more info on my own premium group and signal group. I have both, both very, very valuable. Premium group is a little bit more accessible. You'll learn a lot. You'll learn to become a better trader for real, uh, but that's up to you. All right, check it out. For now, thank you for watching. Uh, take care and bye.